Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right now. But before we get into this video, I got a quick announcement. February 18th, 2022, my birthday, I am hosting my first ever meet. Um, if this video goes live before the meet happened, make sure you guys are there. Friday seven o'clock to ten or seven thirty to ten one or two of the flyers on the screen make sure you guys pull up if you get there before 8 30 pizza is free it's on me two slices for everybody so with that being said man let's go ahead and get straight into this video in today's video y'all we are going to be installing some zl1 add-on rock guards onto vader as you guys can see vader is extremely dirty all of this water, uh, raindrops and residue and all of that is coming from, you know what I'm saying, the big 285s up front and 305s in the rear, just slugging all that, slinging all that water onto the chassis of the car, you know what I'm saying, and then it gets dried up and stuff like that, and then you got rain spots. So, with that being said, today, these rock guards are going to basically eliminate that from happening because they're gonna sit kind of like this right here something like this right here you feel me and so whenever the tire slings up that water or the rocks or whatever it'll just get hit on this and then it'll run straight down instead of going to the chassis of the car now huge shout out to my boy back to the money he had these joints on the green hornet so he went ahead and recommended them to the kid now we're gonna go ahead and put them on vader because as y'all can see it's a hella gloomy overcast day so we don't really got the sun out and it's been raining so hopefully we can finish this before it rains and i also got something else coming for vader today man so if you haven't already man hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because i've been dropping bangers on bangers on bangers on bangers monday through saturday 4 p.m central time be there turn on your post notifications stop the cap tune in hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button drop comments repost do everything you got right, so, so when it comes to installing the rock guards on the front end of the vehicle what you're going to want to do is turn whatever side you're on the opposite way so the wheel is out of your way and then you're going to need to start by taking this push pin out um cleaning up this area a little bit because it's double side uh sticky tape and so you want to have that surface nice and clean so that it can fully adhere to it um and then apparently you're supposed to put in some clips um to clip it to the wheel well so that it'll hold itself in place now if you had like a 2016 through 2018 then you would have all the bolts that go along the rock guards but since i have a 2021 they did decide to change from all those bolts to just one safety pin and and then a torx screw right there so with that being said y'all we're gonna go ahead turn this wheel real quick and then start installing the front so like i was saying this is the little clip i was telling y'all that y'all are gonna have to remove out of the fender liner which will leave this hole exposed now i'm gonna go grab a rag and just some rubbing alcohol and clean this area up because this is where that 3m tape i was telling y'all about is gonna be uh trying to adhere to and you always want to have a clean surface when you're trying to lay something down as you guys saw in the example of installing the 1 le badges on the car definitely want to clean the surface so that way you get a nice sturdy fit all right you guys now as you guys can tell we got the area all cleaned up with some rubbing alcohol i went ahead and did both sides now what you're going to do is basically kind of line it up just to see how it's gonna sit now if i'm not mistaken it's supposed to sit something like this right here but as y'all can see those holes do not line up until it goes down to like right about here so am i going too high maybe i'm not sure all right, y'all, so the passenger side is already installed. Shout out to my boy Money uh, for, you know what I'm saying, helping your boy get that install done. But basically, now I know what to do. So what you're going to do, like I said, is start off by taking out this joint. Just get the little tool in there. Don't break it because you definitely need to reuse it. Uh, check that down in a couple minutes. Take that joint out. Uh, there it is. Take this joint off. Now you're going to put this in this bottom piece right here, like this. 
And then what you'll do is you'll line it up with that hole that's already there. Boom. Push that in there. Get it to sit all the way in. Then you take the cover piece. Go ahead and... It's alright, Mike. I'm, I'm working it. I appreciate it. And then once you get that joint in there, it's actually going to like hold it in place. And then you can come to the... Double size sticky tape. Take that drain off. Once you get it off, you want to line it up with there and just kind of smoothing that down. And then you're going to grab the clips that are provided. You grab these little clips that are provided. And you're going to go in there, lock that in place. That's one. Now they only give you two for each side, but my boy Money, you know what I'm saying? He's done it. A couple of times he did yeah. it before. So I'm gonna go live with mine. He went ahead and grabbed an extra. So he got one. Be, cause let me go ahead and tell you what happened when I did. Why why the reason why I did grab the extra because Hold on, brother, I, I'm trying okay. to get this in order. It's that, it's that extra layer of protection, just, brother. Ooh. Just some sturdiness. That looks nice. Ooh, that boy got them. That boy got them rock guards, man. Chee. Yeah, that look right. That look right, right though. That look, that look way better. Yeah, way better. And they functional, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they functional. It's not yeah, like they just pop. there for looks. They there for functionality too. Yeah, it's gonna make but it pop. What you were saying? Why'd you why'd you get an extra one? Well, I got an extra one because I actually took my car to a car wash one time. No, I don't do that, but the car wash, like, I guess when they come across, it can knock knocked it sideways. So if you got two extra ones right here, and you got that one right here, bro, it's, it's really secure, secure. Super but you secure. know what I'm saying? It's always good to have extras, though. You know what I'm saying? You for just sure. never know what's going to happen. Facts. So, so now, so. done with that, we're going to go ahead, thank you for the keys, and do the rear joints. Because, you know, yeah. big, they big poking back there, you know what I'm saying? Them 305s back there ain't no joke, you know what I'm saying? But let's let's get it straight. Vader shit real sturdy. You know what I'm saying? He said real sturdy. 305s in the rear, 285s in the front. Let's let's get it understood. You know what I'm saying? Let's not play no games. But when you come off to the rear, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have. Uh, I hope I can show y'all these. But a uh, couple of torque screw um, joints. You're gonna go ahead and get those off, and then you can install the new ones with the hardware that they provide and. I kind of want to take my wheel off. My boy Money said he didn't take his off. But, like, I low-key want to take my wheel off. That way, it'll just be faster and easier to do. But yeah, my boy bro. Money say I'm good. So This will fit, bro. So I guess we just going to use the T10. We're going to use the T10 on the manual ratchet type and, and get that joint off and then put the new ones on. Minutes later. All right, y'all. So despite what my boy Money was saying, I went ahead and took the wheel off. As y'all can see, that joint chunky. But anyway, I went ahead and took the wheel off because these are Phillips screws. So you're not going to be able to get in such a tight spot, uh, you know, spot with uh, an actual, you know what I'm saying, screwdriver. So with that being said, I just went ahead and take the wheel off just to make it a little faster. So how you're going to want to do it is you'll get the guard itself. You're going to put it right here, right? And then they kind of provide you with these little spacers. So this will go in between the wheel well and the rock guard. And then they also provide you, like I said, with the Phillips head screws that are going to be long enough to tighten down the rock guard, but also go through the washer spacer thing they give you. You know what I'm saying? It's my first time looking at these brakes and this whole suspension. Um, you know what I'm saying? And... Man, I still can't believe this is my car. One LE. Sheesh. All right, y'all. So, went ahead and got it all mounted up. Mounted up. I guess washer is going to go at the bottom, and then you just work your way upwards. Now that you got them all in between, like I was telling y'all, I'm going to go ahead, take the drill, and just tighten them down. I wish it was glossy. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's like, me. the other ones are like kind of crazy though. The, the, the standard ones, they look dull. That's why I, I oh, like okay. the deluxe. The deluxe got a little. The deluxe got a little shine if, to it. If, you feel me? I feel like if they went like that, yeah, that'd have been better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
but it is what it is. Now that we got this side done, we're gonna go ahead and put the tire back on. I'm gonna do that side, I ain't gonna show you guys. I'll just show you guys the complete product. All right, y'all, so finally got the rock guards on the car. I would love to give you guys some B-roll right now, but the car is just way too dirty to do it. So I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little walk around. There we go, as you guys can see, they sit flush with the tires, right where we needed them to be, so now the tire doesn't stick out further. So when the rain and water and whatnot, you know, splashes, it'll get caught by these rock guards. And same thing with the front end, as you guys can see, it sticks out just enough to where the tire doesn't stick out further. This is exactly what I was talking about doing with Mamba when I was telling y'all about getting mud flaps. I just said the name wrong. It was Rock Guards is what I meant, but they didn't make any for the 5th gen. But now, we big 1L lead up, man. So you know we had to go ahead and treat Vader right and get the Rock Guards for him. But without further ado, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, get this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.